Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I haven't been as consistent with my posting just because I'm working hard on a new site, new course. Um, you know, just making sure that is the best that it can be. So, you know, taking a step back from YouTube just a tad. Um, but, anyways, this was requested. I put up a poll on my Instagram, and you guys said you wanted this video. What is up with the New Zealand dollar? Um, right, fundamentally, there's some crazy things happening. Well, somewhat crazy. Um, take a look over here. It says Westpac, which is a um, just the company. Uh, they do analysis. There might be a bank. I don't really know. But anyways, them and a ton of other banks and financial institutions are forecasting um, the RBNZ, which is the central bank for New Zealand. They control the uh, you know, cash and interest rates for the country and stuff like that. That's what a central bank does. They are, they're forecasting that they will increase interest rates potentially as early as next month in August, which is insane, right? Um, there are some central banks that are not even cutting back their quantitative easing, which just means like buying assets to support the economy, kind of. Um, they haven't even stopped doing that. That's the first step before a central bank will even increase rates. Um, and, you know, uh, the RBNZ might increase rates by next month, which is um, crazy bullish for the New Zealand dollar. When, it, when a central bank increases interest rates, it's very, very bullish, and we've seen that, right? Let's look at AN, right? Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. Huge sell-off, right? We... Um, I was able to catch this move last week because, well, they had a um, the RBNZ had a uh, interest rate meeting where they talk about you know what they decided to do with their policy, and they were expected to be very very hawkish, meaning um, you know take stimulus away right because of how much inflation is, um, etc. And uh, right, so that that pushed it lower, and now it's heading lower. And here is the uh, British pound, New Zealand, also heading lower. And we've seen other you know pairs across the board. The New Zealand dollar is just strong, and the reason it's strong is because the market is pricing in that they are going to raise interest rates, which again, very bullish. So what does all this mean? Right, obviously you can't go back in time. I think it's going to continue to be strong for the next month. Um, obviously, it's going to ebb and flow. You know, when I say that, I hate when people go, oh, you said it was going to be strong. Well, I bought it and it went down. Okay, that's possible. Nothing goes in a straight line. That's why what I do is I wait for pullbacks, right? Because it's going to go up and down in the next month, not straight up, right? It's not going to just be strong. It's going to be strong, but... You know, some days it's going to be weaker, but overall the trend, I, you know, should be heading higher. And so that is what I'm going to be looking to trade next week, the week after, the week after, right? <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to have to look at price action also. If for some reason the New Zealand dollar is just crazy weak, um, which obviously is unlikely, then I would take a step back, analyze, hey, what the heck is going on? Why is it weak? It shouldn't be. But, you know. Obviously, if the price action is not showing a ton of weakness for, you know, shorter than a week, I wouldn't be too concerned. But if for a whole week or a week and a half, it's just not getting stronger, that would be an indication something's up. But if that doesn't happen, I'm going to be looking for shorts, likely on AN. I think AN shorts, uh, as it stands right now, is nice, although it's pretty overextended to the downside with some strong support. So... You know, I would have to wait for a decent pullback first. Um, but yeah, anyways, definitely uh, if I come across another pair too with a weak currency, I'm going to be looking to buy the New Zealand dollar against it. That's going to be my game plan uh, up until the next meeting, right? That is when we will find out if they are actually going to uh, raise interest rates. I mean, it's pretty much a guarantee they're going to do it this year, right, by the end of 2021. It's just a question of which meeting, right? If it doesn't happen at the August one, it's it's probably going to happen at the next one or for sure the one after, right? Unless something crazy happens, you know, with the economy, um, you know, then obviously that, that changes everything. But all things considered, if things stay about the same, the data still looks pretty good, 
then uh, you know that's how I'm going to be trading it. So, anyways, if this helped, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let me know if you want to see more quick, you know, update videos like this. If you guys like that, or if you like more tutorial style stuff, you know, just let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.